Hello, I'm hoping you are doing well. Once again, this is teacher Alex. Welcome to our science lesson, class five. We were looking at weather instruments in our, uh, in our previous lesson. We looked at uh, a rain gauge, and I told you that in our next lesson, we will look at the next weather instrument. And the next weather instrument we are going to look at today is we are going to start with a windsock. A windsock. A windsock is a weather instrument. It is a special weather instrument because, let me tell you, this is a secret. Uh, it is the only weather instrument that measures two aspects of weather. Number one, it measures the strength of wind and it also shows the direction of wind. So anytime you ask which weather instrument measures two aspects of weather, that is a rain gauge, a, a, a windsock, I mean, sorry, the rain gauge is with me. So a windsock is the only weather instrument that measures two aspects of weather and that is strength of wind and direction of wind. You can look at the image here. This is our windsock. I know most of us, we've seen this. Wow, look at that. I know most of us, we've seen this, especially at the airport, at the airstrips. This weather instrument is, in most cases is found there and it is used to show the direction of wind and the strength of wind. Now, with a, with, a, with a windsock, it is painted, you know, you can see now there are strips, there are strips. The question is why does it have the strips or why is it colored? There are, there are paints, you, you can see there are different colors. It is painted black and white. In most cases, you go to any airstrip or an, an airport, you will find that they are painted black and white. The question is why is it stripped? It is stripped for visibility so that it can be seen from a distance. It will be a for, for even if it is a pilot approaching the, 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 the airport or an airstream, he or she will be able to spot it from a distance and so they will be able to, 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 to know the direction uh, to which the wind is blowing to and also they will be able to, to, to know the strength of wind. Now, with this wind gate, uh, with, with this windsock, you can see there is a pole. This is a strong pole, and then there is this sack. This sack is open in both ends, but the, 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 this other one, the, the, this wide part, and the, the, there is a narrow part. So the wind will enter through this wide part and exit through the narrow part. So if you want to know the direction of wind, then where the narrow part is pointing is the direction to, to which the wind is blowing to. And the wide part is where the wind is coming from. I repeat, the wide part is where the wind is coming from and the narrow part is pointing where the wind is blowing to. And we say it is used to show the, the, uh, the strength of wind. If this sack is going to be firm, like the one we had now, look at this. Yes, it is firm. This means the wind is strong. The wind is strong. So there is, the, 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 if you are asked to give the strength of wind, actually you say today the, the, the wind was strong. If it is, uh, the, 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 the sack is, is weak, this means the wind is low. So the strength of wind is low. So with this, if you are asked a question on a windsock, you might be asked why is it painted black and white or why is it straight? That is for visibility. What is the function of a windsock? Is to show the direction of wind and the strength of wind. Now, allow me move to the next weather instrument, and that is an air thermometer. And this is where our problem starts. If you are not careful, you will end up missing uh, questions here. So sit upright, look at this. This is an air thermometer. An air thermometer, you can see at the top there is a glass bottle and then there is another bottle down here. There is a straw and there is a scale. Now, this weather instrument is used to measure the atmospheric temperature. An air thermometer is used to measure the atmos atmospheric temperature. And there is a thin glass bottle at the top. There is a narrow straw. There is a cork. It is cork tight. And then you see there is another one, there is another, another container down here that has the liquid and the liquid is colored. Now, get this. I want you to, if you, you master this, then I'm good to go. I'll be a happy man. I want you to, to understand the reason as to why we use a thin glass bottle 
why we use a narrow straw, why we use colored liquid, and how does the scale of an air thermometer look like? So I will start with the glass bottle at the top. We use a thin glass bottle so that we'll be able to detect or sense any slight change in temperature. We use a thin glass bottle at the top so that we'll be able to detect or sense any slight change in temperature. Look at the straw. Why do we use a narrow straw? We use a narrow straw for accuracy so that you'll be able to read what for accurate you get accurate result you get accurate result so we use an arrow straw for accuracy we have colored liquid why do we use colored liquid everybody is able to see the liquid right we use colored liquid for visibility so that you'll be able to see it well it is easy for you to see the colored liquid so we use colored liquid for visibility and look at the scale of an air thermometer. The scale runs from top to bottom. The scale of an air thermometer runs from top to bottom. Now, how does an air thermometer work? An air thermometer works on a principle that air expands when heated and contracts when cooled. Air expands when heated and contracts when cooled. So this means on a hot day, the air will expand. And on a cold day, the air will contract. So, if the temperature increases, this means there is, this is a hot day, the air in the glass bottle will expand. And is, as it expands, it will be forced to get out through the tube. And as it gets out through the tube, it will push the liquid down. It will push the liquid down. But look at our scale. The scale is running from top to bottom. This means when the liquid in the straw goes down, the reading will be increasing. When the, the, the liquid in the straw goes down, the reading will be increasing. This means there is increase in temperature. Why? When the air expands, it gets out through the straw, pushing the liquid down. And as it pushes the liquid down, the reading will be increasing. And the vice versa is true on a cold day. On a cold day, now, what happens on a cold day? The, the air in the glass will contract. As it contracts, it goes up. It will move back to the, the one that has expanded will move back. And as it moves back, it creates room in the straw. So the liquid will rise up in the straw to occupy the space that has been left by the air that has contracted. And as the liquid moves up, the reading will be decreasing because the scale runs from top to bottom. So, you need, if somebody will ask you, under which principle does an air thermometer work? It works on a principle that air expands when heated and contracts when cooled. We use colored liquid for visibility, narrow straw for accuracy, and thin glass bottle so that it will be able to detect or sense any slight change in temperature. Now, before I leave, because in our next lesson, we will look at a liquid thermometer and we will now look at uh, uh, other weather instruments. But for today, we are going to end our lesson. We've checked on a, a windsock. We've also checked on a, an air thermometer. So you are going to give me the principles under which an, a windsock works and uh, an air thermometer operates. You are going to give me the reason as to why we use colored liquid in an air thermometer, why we use a thin glass bottle, why we use a, a narrow straw, and why is it cocktail? I want you to, to, to tell me something. And you also improvise. You can try to make your own air thermometer and then let your parent take a video or a small a, a picture of what you've done and submit it through the student's portal. I will access it. I'll be able to, to, to see it. May, le, let your air thermometer be almost close to mine or be better than mine. See you next time. This was Teacher Alex.